Welcome back. You're watching News at Prime here on Newsroom Africa, Channel 405. I'm Tembe Kile Mkhototo. We're taking you now to Mpumalanga in Mbombela, where the family of Hilary Gardi, the daughter of the EFF former Secretary General, who was murdered earlier this week, we're hearing, is about to give a briefing. She's said to be laid to rest yesterday so far. We know that the belief is that she was killed execution-style shot. This is now Tambo, who's spokesperson for the family, giving that update. Let's listen approaching us and there's been no confirmation of an arrest, there's been no confirmation of any suspect. But uh, we'll remain on standby to receive any update that may come at any point in time because we are here now, Sizili, uh, in honor of the late Larikad. Thank you very much. If there are any questions or if there aren't any, we can conclude the briefing and proceed with the final preparations for the funeral of our beloved daughter. So the funeral will begin at uh, 7 in the morning at church on the hill. So 7 in the morning, all media has been given their accreditation. Those who have not been can reach out to us uh, to ensure that there's a smooth procession. And of course, we want to reiterate to the general public that we do not want to turn this into a spectacle or a stampede. So let us all adhere to the directives given by the marshals on the day. Once they say the hall is full, the hall is full. Let us not have any commotion or any political bickering or any political attempt at point scoring to try and be present at the funeral. Let us respect the deceased. Let us not flood that funeral and let us allow ourselves to be guided by the family and those who have been tasked with leading the final uh, service to rest, put to rest the late Hillary Cut. First of um, I know you said that uh, the 72 hour uh, activation is fastly approaching. How does it make you feel as an organization, of course, being on behalf of the family, and of course as a family, knowing that the SAPS hasn't even sent any communication and 72-hour activation is fast your project? It's disappointing. Uh, it's disappointing. We had put our faith in the South African police services because we are law-abiding citizens. And uh, that they can't meet their own target or at least give us the grace of information is uh, concerning because they, they handled this case well in its initial stages. There was the concerning mishap of simply missing a bullet in the back of a person's head, which we strongly criticized. But we did again reiterate our belief that uh, they will conclude this case with dignity and ensure that we are able to come to a resolution with our feelings as to why did this crime happen, who did it, and that the, the relevant punishment is executed to them. Now that their deadline is fast approaching, we are waiting. And we don't want to hear an update that is not related to some concrete consequence or arrest of an individual. And we are not getting anything. And uh, it is concerning to us. But we are still, we're here, we're waiting. Uh, they can come to us at any point in time to give us information. But uh, we just wanted to put it on record that their own timeline is fast approaching an end. And uh, we're waiting for them. And that is all we can say. Which is the last one. So for now, I know that you said you want to enter into a realm of speculation, but we still don't know if the perpetrator is close to the family or not. No, we have no information in that regard as yet, and uh, we won't uh, speculate uh, any further about it. We're waiting for the South African Police Services to meet their own timeline, and as the Commander-in-Chief and President of the EFF had said, who has been a strong supporter of the family during this difficult time, they mustn't make us intervene and uh, conclude this matter in our own manner. So they must find him or her or whoever they are before we do. And uh, we have put ourselves in their hands. They must just meet their own commitments. Anyone else? We're fine. Thank you very much. You've just been listening to an update from the Gardi family. That's the family of Hilary Gardi, the 28-year-old woman who was found murdered in Pumalanga at the beginning of this week. She was also the daughter of the EFS former Secretary General Godrich Gardi. She was reported missing around this time a week ago, and a frantic search then ensued. A three-year-old child that she was with at the time of her disappearance, her child, a daughter, we're told, was later found abandoned. She was, at the time, out doing her grocery shop, that is the last time she was seen. We're hearing now Sinawa Tambo expressing the family's disappointment with the lack of anything substantial, at least from the police's side, as far as that 72-hour team that had been activated to try and crack this case. The EFF has been saying this week that it wants police to be 
the ones to find the perpetrator or perpetrators because the party does not want to have to deal with them in its own way. That was very much emphasized just now by Sinao Tambo. The funeral service for Hilary Gardi then will start tomorrow morning around 7 o'clock. Zikona Chona will have live updates for you here on News from Africa from very early in the morning.